the shape of the catheter used uh, to cross an occlusion is illustrated in this case. Um, you can see in this case presented on Twitter, um, there was an occlusion and the physician trying to cross the occlusion used a, an MPA1 catheter, five French MP1A catheter to try to cross um, the occlusion. And we all did this in the beginning uh, because it was available, readily available in the cath lab. Uh, the problem with that particular shape is that the distal curve of the catheter uh, is too long. So the curve goes all the way from here to here. Um, and so this, when it's in a tight area, this part of the catheter uh, is constrained within the fibrous tissue of the stenosis. So when the catheter is torqued, the tip does not turn up towards where you want it to go towards the leads. So that you can't get it to uh, track along the leads. In addition, it's not hydrophilic. So catheters used, diagnostic, most diagnostic catheters uh, are not hydrophilic, so they're not slippery. They don't tend to slide through the fibrous tissue. By comparison, uh, if you use this five French hydrophilic uh, KA2 catheter, um, braided hydrophilic catheter, uh, it has a very short uh, distal curve. And uh, I find that the shorter the better for this particular purpose. Um, and with that short tip, when you torque the back end of the catheter, the tip moves even though, uh, even though the uh, Part of it is constrained by the fibrous tissue because the whole catheter is not the whole tip isn't constrained by the fibrous tissue. In addition, uh, because this catheter is hydrophilic, it's slippery, uh, and so it's the difference between trying to advance a non-hydrophilic wire through an occlusion versus hydrophilic wire through an occlusion. Because the catheter is hydrophilic, it tends to go through the occlusion uh, more readily. Uh, than a non-hydrophilic catheter. In addition, it's braided, um, which gives it pushability and torque control. So when you turn the back end, the front end rotates. Um, and you can see the what I believe is a non-braided catheter, but anyway, it's very wobbly, even coming out of the package. It doesn't have that same uh, stiffness and torque control uh, that the KA2 uh, catheter has. And finally, uh, if you notice, the tip of this catheter is not tapered. So if you're trying to get the tip of the catheter into a, a narrow area, uh, it's nice to have it tapered so that it'll go in uh, to the fibrous tissue and thus improving your chance of successfully crossing the occlusion. So it's important 